Hello, dear friends. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to be back and, you know, providing you yet another exciting opportunity. And this time around, I would like for us to talk about one of the universities in uh, the United States. And so we'll be looking at the University of South Carolina. And so to start, I would like to share uh, the screen. And just in case you are visiting us for the first time here at the BMI Care TV community, I'd like to encourage you to please subscribe to uh, this YouTube channel. On this channel, we share exciting opportunities that you, our dear subscribers and indeed viewers, can take advantage of to better your education and other exciting opportunities that could be helpful for your career. And so, as you can see, we are looking at University of South Carolina, and this university is based in the United States of America. And so, with a simple Google search, I just typed University of South Carolina, and then scroll down here, and I'm able to click this particular link, and I was able to find myself on the web page for the University of South Carolina. And my task today, dear friends, is to be able to show you uh, what are some of the colleges and schools within the University of South Carolina, show you some of the majors, and then delve into the different types of scholarships that are available at this particular university. And then I'm gonna I'm going to give you a few examples of some of those scholarships that are available, giving examples from the School of uh, Biostatistics, and that is particularly in the School of Public Health, and also uh, looking specifically at individuals that may be uh, looking to pursue programs within the Department of Statistics. And so I'll be able to give you a few examples from those departments. As for the other programs, I would encourage each and every one of you to click the link within the description of this video and explore this website on your own. And so to start, you can see that we are on this particular page, which shows colleges and schools for this uh, particular university. And to scroll down, you can see a whole range of uh, colleges. There's a College of Arts and Sciences, the Dallamore School of Business, the College of Education, College of Engineering and Computing, then the Graduate School that has got different Masters and PhD programs, the College of Hospitality, Retail and Sport Management, College of Information and Communication, College of Law, School of Medicine, School of Music, College of Nursing. So a whole range of schools, friends, that you can explore. And I'm certain that if you are interested to study at this particular university, you'll be able to find something that suits you. And within each of these uh, colleges, you find different majors. And so all in all, you can see that the University of South Carolina offers more than 350 bachelor's, master's, and doctoral degrees, as well as career enhancing certificates and specialties. So you may need to simply search by particular keywords to look for a program that fits your interest. And so this is where you can actually search to see if the program that you're looking to study is offered at this university. But just to give you a snippet, I'll scroll down to just show you some of the programs that are offered at this university. So you can see accountants is there, uh, studio art, there is bioinformatics, athletics, nursing, aerospace engineering, a good number of programs, majors that you can take advantage of, anthropology, and so the list, dear friends, is endless, and this you can explore at your own time. 
And now, I would like to highlight some of the scholarships that are available to international students that international students can actually take advantage of. So you can actually see here that we are on the page for financial aid and scholarships. So scholarships are funds that don't need to be paid back. And so there are a thousands of scholarships at your fingertips, but be careful as you search, you should never pay to apply for a scholarship. Review the scholarship sources pages that are provided by the university. And so these are some of the scholarship sources. So you can see that the first one there says scholarships for South Carolina residents. And so these may not apply to international students, but what applies to international students are scholarships for non-residents, departmental scholarships, and non-institutional scholarships. So these are the different scholarships that you might want to explore if you're looking to finance your education at University of South Carolina through scholarships. And so let's just look at uh, the scholarships for non-residents briefly. So the University of South Carolina offers a generous array of scholarships for non-South uh, Carolina residents, freshmen, which are awarded through the Office of Undergraduate Admissions. So these are the different uh, scholarships you can see here. And so these are actually merit-based scholarships. So what they are saying is that when you apply for admission to University of South Carolina, you are automatically considered for a merit scholarship. These scholarships are only awarded first time to first time freshmen who are entering the fall semester. Only one admission merit award per individual is allowed for non-residents with the exception of the provost, provost scholarship award, which can be added to any other award listed in this section. So you can see all these different uh, scholarships here that are part of what are called the merit-based scholarship. And so when you apply, you qualify for one merit-based scholarship. But on top of that, they can actually add the provost scholarship award depending on eligibility. And so you might want to explore these uh, particular pieces of scholarships on your own at your own time. Now let's look at departmental scholarships. So when you talk about departmental scholarships, most departmental scholarships are awarded to retaining students, but you can check the scholarship database. Each college or school has its own application process please reach out to the college or school for questions about the scholarships they offer. As you apply, take time to review the scholarship policy. And when you talk about the scholarship policy, basically you're looking at what are the requirements for you to be able to maintain that scholarship or to keep that scholarship. For most schools, for instance, they may require that you maintain a minimum GPA of 3.0. And so that is something that you have to make sure you know beforehand so that when you start your program, you are working towards maintaining that particular GPA for you to be able to uh, keep or maintain your financial aid. And so searching for departmental scholarships. So you can actually use this particular table, which has been highlighted here to search for scholarships that apply to your needs by typing the name of the awarding college the school or department in the search box. Each scholarship PDF is updated regularly and contains a comprehensive list of scholarships available for incoming freshmen, current undergraduates, and graduate students. And so this is a whole host of information for different schools that you may want to explore at your own time. Now, let's look at non-institutional scholarships. All right. So the university is very generous. It also provides links to non-institutional scholarships that you can take advantage of in case you are admitted at this university. So non-institutional scholarships. Non-institutional scholarships are outside scholarships that have no relation with the University of South Carolina. They are funded directly by businesses, agencies, organizations, groups, or individuals. And so when you are looking at these particular links, 
what you need to be paying attention to are the application timelines and awarding timelines so that you know that when you're applying to those particular scholarships, they are in sync to when you're going to be attending the, attending or starting a school at the University of South Carolina. And so they also advise that you need to exercise caution on the scholarship sites as you search, but these are some of the examples that you can look at in terms of uh, external funding sources that you can uh, apply to in case you are admitted and you need additional funding to cater for your financial needs. Now, dear friends, I would like to uh, highlight a few things, basically, and this has to do with additional funding opportunities, which are specifically looked out, out for into in this university so that you guys can actually see that the funding is readily available at these universities. And so we are looking at the Arnold School of Public Health. And this is a particular department now providing additional information that if you dug deeper into these different schools, you would be able to find such pieces of information. And so it says right here, funding. And this is being offered in the form of what are called assistantships, which can either be through teaching, research, or other forms such as administrative positions. Now, what they highlight here is that all graduate assistants, masters and doctoral students receive what is called in-state tuition. And so they do receive a stipend amount that varies and may include tuition supplement. And to apply for these positions, one has to come to this particular link here. Click on this link and apply for graduate assistantship. So for TA positions in the department, you may need to conduct, that is, that is for teaching assistant positions, you may need to contact the graduate directors, the ones that may be in charge of the programs to which you have been admitted. So to apply for TA positions outside the department or Arnold School of Public Health, contact the undergraduate or graduate director for that particular department. This could be maybe the uh, Department of Biology, Chemistry, and undergraduate classes or labs like that. So now, when you look at funding and fellowship opportunities for doctoral students, doctoral students or PhD students are offered the following, an assistantship, which runs for three or four years, institution, minimum stipend of 6,500 per semester, $6,500 per semester, a minimum 17,500 tuition supplement over uh, three years. In addition, doctoral applicants are eligible for fellowships, which are detailed below. So there is what is called the Arnold School of Public Health Doctoral Scholarship or fellowship. And this, you know, comes as a limited number of fellowships that are available each year for the most competitive uh, program of epidemiology and biostatistics for doctoral students. And what is being offered here is $10,000 per year, which may be renewable for a second year, 6,500 stipend per semester for three or four years and tuition supplement. And then there's what is called the University of South Carolina Presidential Fellowship. So you can see, dear friends, all these uh, additional uh, funding opportunities within the School of Public Health and for our graduate students. Now, to give another example, dear friends, dear friends, uh, dear viewers, uh, subscribers, you can see that we are now in the Department of Statistics, and this department is currently recruiting individuals that may be interested to pursue a Master of Science in Statistics or a Doctor of Philosophy in Statistics. And what is being highlighted here is that this uh, graduate program offers both a uh, Master's of Science program and PhD in Statistics. And the programs are well regarded with a, a, a particular focus on research. Now, the catch as far as financial aid is concerned, and that is something that you want to really pay attention to, is that you need to 
make sure you submit your application by January 15th. So you have to mark your calendar if you're considering to applying to this particular program. So applicants who wish to be considered for financial support should have their applications completed by January 15th. Applications received through March 1 may also be considered for financial support if early financial offers are, are declined. But the catch is, dear friends, is that you want to apply by January 15th. And so, dear friends, these were just examples that I uh, needed to utilize to be able to demonstrate to you that funding opportunities are available at University of South Carolina. And depending on which program you are looking at, you may want to go to that particular department and simply do what I have exactly shown you here in this video so that you can actually uh, look at the potential sources of funding for that particular program that you want to pursue. Otherwise, this might just be an opportunity for you to be able to pursue that uh, you know, graduate program that you have been looking forward to, to pursuing. And finances may be the ones that might have been delaying you, but now there is this opportunity and you may want to take advantage of this opportunity. At this point, I would like to simply say, if you have not yet subscribed to this particular channel, you might want to hit that subscribe button and that bell icon so that when we upload videos of this nature in the future, you will be among the first few people to be notified. And in case you have some people within your network that may be looking for opportunities such as this one, you might want to share this opportunity with them so that they can take advantage of this opportunity. And so please subscribe, share this video widely so that others can benefit from opportunities such as this one. For now, I'd like to simply simply say thank you very much for being part of the BMI Care TV community. Until next time, in another upload, we thank you.